Welcome back to The Walking Dead. Um, last time, we had some bandits. We all fucked up, and this one woman we confronted with a crossbow. The she, uh, she she wanted to kill us, but then we were like, nope. And then the other guy shot him, her, and I have no idea what's going on. I'm still sick. Um, yeah. Totally something screwy going on on this farm. Something's fucky. Moo cow. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Pet the cow. Moo. It's gonna bite her. Bite her hand. Whoa. Katya says Mabel could have a baby tonight. We'll it's gonna be a zombie time. baby. Zombie baby cow. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. <laughs> Did you lick it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> she lied. There's a restaurant in Austin called Salt Lick. It's fucking amazing. Best barbecue oh, in the good. world. No, not really. Hmm, it smells funny in here. Like duty. <laughs> <laughs> duty. Kids. Can I talk to somebody else now? You're useless. Hey there, Andy. Yep. Uh. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Okay. That's all we're going to talk about? Jesus. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. <laughs> we're starving. Yep. Waits till dinner time to eat food. Okay. So, uh, let's talk to the cow first. She looks skinny. <laughs> okay. Clementine. Here's your hat. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! Don't mention I knew you'd find that it I was owned by a crazy bandit what? woman that might have been your mom. Did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee. Do you think you'll ever have kids? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't thought about having kids in a long time. Well, thanks for finding my hat. <laughs> well, I can be your kid. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. <laughs> Do you want to pet the cow with me? I mean, so I just talk like to her regular. Cow, She's pretty. <laughs> okay, that's it. Let's check out what's in all these stalls. Might be something suspicious. I don't see anything suspicious just yet. Nothing? No. Let's go back. It's never the first door. Whenever you're playing, um... What's that? Wayne Brady show. Can't believe I forgot the name. But yeah. <laughs> lick the salt lick. Ooh, hey. I wanna play in the hay. Just stay close to your mom for now. <laughs> Get out of here, Sid. Okay. okay. <laughs> Sounded like an orc from World of Warcraft. Okay. Something you doing, master? I'm a nerd. Sue me. Alright, what's in here? Dairy box. It's gonna be heads in here. Empty. It's like that one show with, um, Brad Pitt and, uh, M M Morgan Freeman. What's in the box, Morgan? What's in the box? Yeah. What show is that? I forgot. I've seen it like once. Hmm. Let's see. Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Wonder whose clothes it smells pretty foul. That's an IV as well. This place is getting sketch. Well, I mean it's already been sketch, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna go through that door after we're done looking through all these. Because you know, this is important stuff. There's like nothing in here. Nope. It's a feeding trough. <laughs> it's like, 
Why are you looking at the feeding trough? Take me to your leader. Wood. I'm just gonna click it and see that that's a pile of wood. <laughs> just some fence posts. Close enough. There's nothing in here. Useless! The only useless room was the one with the IVs and foul clothing. Let's go look at this door. There's probably something. Look, there's blood on the ground right there, to the bottom right. And it's locked. You found it too, huh? Oh shit. Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. <laughs> Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? Ah, <sighs> she's not. Uh... I'll protect her no matter what. Yeah, I know you will. Look, the guy with Katya. What's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is, we gotta know for sure. For people who haven't they seen the original TV show, this is similar to another they situation. I'm not gonna reveal it, oh, man. but it, it kind of sounds like it's them. different. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor, what'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Oh, shit. Can I look through here? Screw. Let's look at the hey, lock first. Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? <laughs> well, you're, you know. Racist, fuck! Uh, oh, you are not saying that. <laughs> you black. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. <laughs> Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. <laughs> oh my god. That's hilarious. Are we gonna. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. So, so we need a screwdriver. Fun. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. <laughs> Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Hmm. Uh. What's behind be straightforward. Just tools. We keep it locked so the people in the woods don't try and grab them. We'd be dead without them. <laughs> hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Something's fucky going on here. Alright, well. Let's check Andy get out of the barn. I mean, I don't think I have... Hey guys, seriously, don't fuck around oh. with that. Come on, enough already. Fine. I thought he left. Shit. I'll talk to you real quick, Kenny. Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. <laughs> okay. I guess we're doing this now. Let's um Let's head out of the barn. Maybe we can disable the fence. Call him out and say he's gotta go fix it. Oh, the generator! He's the only one that ever wants to deal with the generator. Because he says it's finicky and stuff. Oh. <laughs> oh, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? <laughs> oh, I manage it just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. <laughs> Hitting on the old woman. All right. Let me go look over here. I mean, I'm just gonna look at everything real quick. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. <laughs> Maybe we spook the cow or something. Okay, we need to go over here real quick before we do anything, because Lily was having an argument. We should probably deal with that also real quick before we progress the story. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Come on, Lily, let's talk. What's going on, Lee? Did something happen? There may be something going on with that barn. I'm telling you, Lee. The longer we stay here, the more trouble we're getting ourselves into. And what exactly do you think I'm supposed to do about it? If you want to go in there and start rooting through other people's shit, then get to it. But if it's up to me, we should just take our food and go. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. It's been three months. 
Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Cause you are an yeah, asshole. Well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. So he's the asshole. Um. How do you put up with him? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes. I know that, but he's not a bad guy. He just, he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much and lost pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself and me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably going to keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care <laughs> that's about. That's because he loves so you. don't judge him. <clears throat> and don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. I don't judge you too much. Just, just a little. After what Kenny told me, I'm going to start to think they may be trying to hide Excuse me. Well, Kenny's the you son of a bitch. asking for trouble. See? But if you insist on wandering around, I'd be careful, Lee. I'm going to go check things out. Watch yourself, Lee. Thanks, Lily. She's getting better. Eventually, well, what I would like to see is we save Lily from some dangerous situation. And, uh, yeah, then uh, her father will be like, I love you, man. I love you, man. What can we do? Oh, what was that? Freak tours. Uh, don't these people give anything <laughs> So what are we doing? We gotta go out into the barn to look at something. Now, I'm gonna go check out the generator, cause that makes sense. But uh, enough of these might work as adequate cover for Merrill's, if that becomes a problem. Like, the problem that I see is that if we disable the generator, that's a lot of risk. You know what I'm saying? Also, why is the cow skinny when they've got so much hay? They've got a surplus enough. Oh, see, I got an option to do something. How to fix this if something goes wrong. See, I was right. That's what happens when you. Remember the story. <laughs> Just press the red button. Power switch. Boop. Hmm. Guess I'm gonna need a screwdriver for Fuck. this. Fuck. Okay, let's push the thing back on then. If we need a screwdriver, because if we don't have a screwdriver, then this is kind of pointless. Well, this is a tool shit. Oh, toolbox. Here we go. It's like, if I leave the thing off, then zombies can get in. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I doubt that the game would actually do that, but... Well, that's not a screwdriver. That's a multi-tool. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. I wonder if that, I can, that can actually work, though. Because I've never owned a multi-tool before. Yeah, Andy knows how to fix this if something goes wrong. But you might be able to grip stuff. something and twist it. Ugh. <sighs> All right, let's see if we can open this up. Sweet, it works. And we can use this multi-tool for uh. There you go. Oh shit! If you break the belt, that'd be shitty. Ow! Damn it! Thing is moving fast. <laughs> Derp. Sorry, people, for being a little bit stupid. Boop. I don't think I should. I hope he doesn't yeah, cut it. That should do it. Okay, that's really sneaky. <laughs> Somebody's gonna see me. Oh shit! Fucking Danny, where'd he find this piece of shit? Oh, fucking thing threw a belt. Damn it, dog! Ah, oh, son of a fuck! Oh, this take forever. Well, where are you gonna get a spare belt? I mean, you can't just throw something together. Well, you you are on a dairy farm, so you might have leather. I don't know if that leather would work. I don't know how you cure leather for, uh, you know, to make a, a belt. Uh, I know nothing about cars. Sorry. <laughs> you look really surprised when you walked in. Alright. Let me talk to him real quick. See if I can tell him that we're ready to go. I found a multitude. I picked up something I think could help with the lock. Nothing to stop you now. Oh. Whatever. Oh shit, the zombies. I think. Mom, Dad, dinner time! Oh. It's dinner time! Okay, honey, That's let's bell. get that. I forgot. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. 
Get that thing off. Shit, it's only us. Only us and the world. Hey, there's like light on in there now. Right, let's check this out. Let us use the multi-tool. Wow, screws do not come out that quickly. I'm sorry. Basically, what we're going to do here is pull out all four. Let me take that off. Let me just slide that thing to the right, I think. Shit, you know what? I haven't been running my timer this whole... Oh, wait, there it is. I'm good. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh god. Oh boy. Boy, didn't you hear the bell? <sighs> oh man. Dinner time. Why was there so much blood in there? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still got to do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, I don't believe you at all. In it, and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house, so you see, nothing to worry about. Mm-hmm. I don't believe you. I'm just gonna walk away. Ugh. More questions left to be answered. You are an angel. Excuse the mess. We had to block the back door after Walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago, and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. Oh, shit. I wonder if her husband is still alive. I could eat a horse. Where's Mom? Now, don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Oh man! If I wash my hands first. Bathroom's right outside. Well, I know what's going on now. I bet her husband is a zombie. They cut up bodies, and uh, feed it to the zombie. I mean, like. This must be Terry. Hmm. Okay. Scratches. Where's this wire coming from? Walkers aren't getting through that thing. Are we going upstairs or are we going to use the bathroom? Let's look at the bathroom first. Let's see, look at Bob. Kind of lotion. I could use a shave. No, damn it! Ah, open it up! There's still something up there. Gauze pads. Useless! Can I take some toilet paper? Nothing? Okay, let's go. Now let's go upstairs. Sneak the shit up here. Oh man. Oh man. Alright guys. I'm gonna stop it here. You're gonna have to wait till next time to find out what's going on. This is Byronic, and that's it.